Welcome back to London Beauty for Life. My name is Kieran, and today we're at the Tate Modern for the Christspiracy World Premiere. <laughs> Can you tell us about how this project came about? Well, it came about, we've been working at this for seven long, wild, wild years. It's been adventure all around the world. Uh, it took a long time, but we finally made it here. Um, yeah, and I mean, Kip's definitely made a few films that have prerequisited this whole uh, event and this whole uh, film, but for my own personal life too, just, yeah, you'll, when you watch the film, you'll see the, the questions that are asked or something that, you know, me being a Christian background is something that everybody who's religious, spiritual, or people who are non-religious and non-spiritual should be asking themselves, yeah. Yeah, so with it being like, potentially, it could be a sensitive topic, how did you get about getting contributors? for this how did you get about getting contributors like the people to speak on the on this documentary Kickstarter. you mean you mean the interviews for the film or, or yeah like interviews yeah yeah well the interviews for the film a lot of people uh the ones that we found took a lot of work but we found archaeologists dead sea scroll uh experts um geez, professors experts in this field that no one knows from the mainstream but after this film now they're going to know and they've been waiting to speak the truth about this what's being revealed in the film for their some of their in the entire lives and now it's finally come to fruition with this film yeah. Oh yeah, and then amazing. And then, can you guys share any memorable moments from doing this film? Huh. Man, so many memorable moments. When you watch the film, it's like a Raiders Lost Ark meets Da Vinci Code. One reveal after another after another. So as a viewer, when they're watching it, they're blown away at the same time. And we're going through the experiences, car chases, being chased, going to interviews, incredible people. Um, I can't even pick one. Yeah, mine would be the, the true Raiders of the Lost Ark moment, which is, I, I, I go beneath the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. I, I don't want to say more because I want you to see it, but I had my whole like Indiana Jones moment, I guess, in a way. I found myself in that. It's really wild, yeah. What were the most challenging moments from doing this? Most challenging moments are, again, when the viewer watches this, they'll see which the most challenging. Some of it, uh, well, I mean, we were, we, were, we were followed for a long time, but actually making the film was a big challenge to make sure we, we, we have all of our footage and we just finish the film. Another one, too, is um, challenging is being around certain situations where animals aren't being responsible expected um, to say the least and what people are doing to the animals is very challenging because when you look in the eye of an animal you see what they're going through and that's very challenging because you want to rescue every single animal you see but that was challenging yeah that that's probably the most challenging moment but to add to that I would say outside of the filmmaking process itself it's been releasing this film independently since we decided to do it that way and move away from our major streamer figuring that process out has been something that is like a trailblazing thing and we've had to go through a lot of grit and a lot of grind we're pretty tired even here tonight but uh, we're excited that we're uh, able to have the freedom that we have so you've worked with animals in the past what would you what is your favorite animal to work with or in general I've got two favorite animals um, one is an orangutan and I think that's because I've done a lot of work with orangutans I did two series of something called orangutan diaries for the BBC years ago and uh, I just got very very close to certain individual orphans orangutans um, and I just love their intelligence. I love the fact that they're so like us. They're very gentle, unlike chimps. You know, chimps would chimps are really naughty. Mind you, some of the orangutans are very naughty. But they're very lovable as well. Um, and sharks. I'm a big fan of sharks. Someone has to be. <laughs> but also, again, I've done, in the past, I've done a lot of filming with sharks. I really respect sharks. Um, I think, you know, awesome predators. Um, I've done a lot of diving with sharks. So those are my two favorite animals. Are they generally as scary as people make them out? to me because there's a lot of horror stories about sharks at the moment oh yes i think so i think they can be i mean i think anything that can eat you is is going to you know put fear into people but uh, but I, I mean i've just got a huge respect for sharks i've done uh, cage diving and you're in that cage and you see those sharks and you just respect them and i think healthy respect of all animals is what i would promote and yes i mean you, you should be frightened of something with big teeth that can eat you of course you should be but you know you keep your distance you keep a healthy respect and um, and you learn to love them what can we expect from you in the future expect from me um, I guess more content uh, 
um, I'm looking to expand, so yeah, definitely. Have you ever had any horrific moments doing content? So obviously, like, you interact with the public quite a lot, don't you? So have you ever had any, like, things that have gone wrong with the public? Uh, yeah, I mean, I hand out notes, so people people often refuse the note, yeah. yeah. But that's the worst. It's, it's not that horrific. What I do is very, like, you know, not, not harmful at all, so, yeah. Any embarrassing moments? Um, yeah, people have thrown the note away. Some, somebody somebody dipped a note into their Chinese and just and just like chewed on it. I, that was very odd. I don't know why, but yeah, that happened.